Tiffany with Big Island Now here. And why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Okay. Uh, Iopa Mauna Kea, I'm executive director of Kanaka Opuna and I would say founder of the Men of Pa. Okay. Aloha, I'm Joel Tan and I live in Kapa'au and I am the director of social impact and programs for One Heart Hub. Okay, great. Um, so I wanted to chat with you guys today because I understand that there has been a collaboration between your two organizations. And uh, first, why don't uh, you each give me a brief synopsis of what each of your organization does? You want Joelle. Joelle, you want to start? Yeah, we, um, our mission is to weave aloha um, um, through our work um, in food, arts, culture, and ecology. And so the One Heart Hub is the umbrella company, really, of the different Dorrance family businesses that includes, uh, at the heart of it, uh, the Dragon Heart Farms, mm -hmm. which is the core of our collaboration with Kanaka Opuna Menapa'a. Um, but in addition to that, there's the Blue Dragon Tavern in Kavaihai. There's our inn here in Havi. Um, there is our, our food um, projects like our, our caboose food truck. We have Kohalo Village Body Work, um, which has a range of wellness um, services, as well as um, the Wishing Well that we manage, which is a food processing um, site down in, 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 in Havi. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, it's any number um, and as well as a retreat center in Humble. So all of it is really looking at wellness from the inside out. And Menopause is very good at being the people that help people that help people. So this really is a, a kind of collaborative. It's our X-Men moment. It's a moment where we kind of team up and say, all right, like this is a big thing. And so we take a lot of that Puna love. And we're taking it up here, up to the far, the, the great white north, the far cold north of Kohala. <laughs> and, and I mean, there's Kana, their Kanakamana in there and their joy and, and, and our, our wishes for a healthy, vibrant community. And we're beginning. Uh, men of Pa, um, you know, we, 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 we do service, right? We, we do, I mean, you know more about us than us. <laughs> <laughs> You, you wrote about us a couple <laughs> times, um, and so, so yeah, it's about um, you know, the, it's about reintegration of our Kane who is caught up in the justice system, and then we we, we bring them in to to house them and and um, job train them, and um, help them to just reintegrate back into the community, and we do that culturally, and we do that through our cultural programs. Um, our Hui Kalo project, um, our local EA projects, and now exciting this agro uh, recovery ag. Yeah, I guess it's a recovery agro agricultural piece that we are able to uh, expand our operations up into um, uh, Kohala. And um, I think I think this collaboration it, it's really about um, growing food and feeding our communities and then um, expanding on that. We're growing leaders too in our communities too. And um, somehow, some way in this collaboration, I, I truly believe that um, we're gonna accomplish that by, by growing our program up in Kohala with the help of One Heart Hub mm -hmm. and um, expand this idea of people helping people helping people. Hopefully we're gonna we're gonna generate this relationship between Puna and and Kohala, and I see that happening, because one day Kohala is gonna is gonna come down here to Puna, and we're going to collaborate somehow. And our turn now is to go up in Kohala and collaborate. And I feel that we we're being welcomed there too by our Kupunas, by the community, and and our program really is needed. I think all over the place. I think a lot of places can use our program as far as the men of Pa. You know, the, the, yeah. the recovery aspects, the housing aspects, and then, and then the service aspects. So I, I think that's kind of where, where we're at right now. Okay. So I know that uh, you have an office space up there now, right? For yes. the Menapa'a? Okay. That was, um, 
So, so Kanaka Opuno is our, our 501c nonprofit organization, right? And at that point, I had to figure out how to um, organize, organize ourselves, you know, organizational capacity, right? Mm -hmm. And like everybody talk about, yeah, 50, uh, um, nonprofits come and go, come and go, come and go. Um, I know more that, I know more that feeling. I, I feel that my nonprofit, Kanaka Opuno, is going to be, is going to, is, is here to stay. And it's gonna serve as much as it can serve, because I'm gonna put a lot of um, energy and effort into it. And then what we needed to do was we needed to have a um, one office and one one uh, I guess one one place to um, you know our our um, what do I call it our organizational point. And that's what um, they offered us. That's what um, One Heart offered us this office space now to help with our administrative side up there but also a um a place of um a home base a place of home base where we can um you know um i guess the word is we can uh, start from yeah we can kind of like engage the community that way and and too what's nice about our place now it's a working farm so we're gonna actually we started already with them we started planting food and more food and more food. And that's the intent to plant food, plant food, harvest, and then get it into the hands of our community. So win, win, win for everybody, right? Kanako Puna now, we, we, we're, we have an office space up there. Our, our program, the Men of Pa'a now resides there. We also have now the, um, the place of operations to start off to. So um, that's what I needed to, we need to build and sharing that with um, One Heart Day. They were awesome to work with and still awesome to work with. And I feel really, really good about this uh, collaboration and partnership. Of Minipa's inclination to want a physical home site because everything is so virtual right now. Yeah. Uh, but there's some power in just having them here and having their chair there and knowing that it's happening. And even the talking about it has prompted some really important conversations in the community where knowing that there's some resources around recovery that's coming, like our local leaders in Kapuna are immediately responding positively to this move. And it really speaks to the, even though it's just all anecdotal, I'm sure I can find the numbers that support this, but we know that in these small rural areas, ICE has been the thing that's been kind of like creating a lot of havoc. So you know, ice and alcohol, ice and alcohol. And then you throw an epidemic and unemployment and uprisings on top of it. You know, the need for the kind of medicine that the Menapa'a have been offering community is going to be the thing that's needed. And it's one of the things that Kanaka Opuna does brilliantly and naturally is to center um, any and all of their activities on what makes sense here. On, yes. this, on this land. And so I think that that's what I'm excited about. So all that to say is with all of that, we can plan on one thing, but just I think by being around one another and taking the steps that EOPA so very clearly has been consistent with in terms of you, you, you enter a place and you ask for permission. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you talk story, you talk story. And of course the grant is gonna want you to write the objectives. And of course that that funder is gonna want you to do the KPIs and the evaluation. You, you have to know how to do that, but really without that relationship building, without following protocol that is inherent to this place, whether or not that's, that's the funder's um, protocol, there's protocol already in this land. Mm -hmm. and and they know to, to follow that, we're following along with them and we're hopeful. We just know when you do think, when you plant those kinds of seeds in that kind of way, you get plenty of amazing blossom. You get plenty of amazing out, out, output. But we don't know, we, we, we can't, don't, don't know what that is yet. But believe me, 2021 is gonna need to call on everyone who can contribute to contribute. So we're, we're, we're doing this now. We're mending our nets, we're starting the new relationships. We're dreaming up what could be possible for 21, and then we're gonna we're just gonna put it literally in the ground. Yeah, this is how I see it happening right now. So we're based in Puna, mm -hmm. and right now now we're based in Kohala. So right. now both 
my one central piece now is is going to serve Pune and Kohala and everywhere in between because as the men of Pa'a, we're all over the place serving. That we're we're going to just do our thing and we know that that's going to send out a ripple. And for those who are, it's going to be the whistle that, that those who need to hear it will hear it and they'll come. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's a pattern that's worked for EOPA and, and KOP in the past and it's just, I, you know, just to get esoteric. I think we're in that time where we have to trust our intuition. The other thing that excites me about this is just that idea that, you know, while we represent organizations, we live and we are, you know, we, 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 are, we are supported by the places we live. So we also advocate, you know, for the districts that we live and that feeds us. So just the idea of a district exchange, um, particularly, you know, what can... Puna bring to Kohala? Well, Ina based wellness and recovery. Well, what can Puna, you know, Kohala do for Puna, at least at, right at this point? Um, I think we're doing really well around, we're not perfect, but food and food systems, I think is something. And literally soil. I think what really is happening is that this is about systems thinking and taking a systems approach. That's the Western way of saying it, but this is, um, indigenous people know that that's how things work. Like we're interdependent. Like we, we do mutually reinforcing things. And if we don't stake claim and dig in to say, well, no, that only happens in Pune or that only happens in Kohala, cannot, cannot live on an island like that. The whole island is an ahupua'a. And things that happen in Ka'u um, affect Kohala and Pune. And so as Iopa was saying, we got to take care of it, it all. And the good thing is that for a lot of us, whether or not we were born and raised here, or, or like me, I'm a transplant um, from the continent and from the Philippines, but if we can still tap into our, 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 our intuition, that deep part of ourself that is indigenous, we, this is the thing that basically says, this feels right. So let me just say it simple. This feels right.